Football League on EA Sports. And tonight's clash of conferences is just moments away. It's the Baltimore Ravens and the Dallas Cowboys. And it's all up next. I just next. know that those ones that wrap around your whole ear will make your ear sweat. Your ear will get hot. Well, the roof is closed, but as you can probably tell, the mouths of these Cowboy fans could not be more yeah. wide open. It is a frenzied AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Baltimore Ravens and the Dallas Cowboys. And hi again, everybody. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And Charles, when you and I were going through our final run-throughs at breakfast, we kept thinking tonight we're going to get to see a couple of very good passing offenses. And we're talking about both sides having multiple receivers that could have an impact on this game. It's not just one guy that's going to make all the plays. If you take him away, maybe number two, number three, they make the big plays that impact who wins the game. This one teed up, and we are underway here at AT&T Stadium. And no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Here comes the Ravens on offense, and the man in charge from Louisville, the former MVP, Lamar Jackson. Early part of his career, defenses really had to focus on his running ability, and they still do. But now, he's turned himself into a true dual-threat quarterback. When he plants his cleats in the ground and turns it loose, Good things happen downfield. They'll start by running the option to the right. And it'll yardage here back at the 21 yard line. It's a loss of four on that first play and it's second down. Pad. He had a linebacker in his face before he had a chance to do much of anything. Yeah, I think it's big boys up front, that offensive line. They've got to do a little bit better job of protecting him if they're going to continue to run the option like this. The first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. They go play action now. Jackson. That's complete. It's Devin Duvernay. Yeah, he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. 23 yards to pick up there. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. And he's going to lose a yard or two, taken down by Defensive end, Demarcus Lawrence applied the heat. The defense is always talking about not letting Lamar Jackson get comfortable. A good job there on his opening drive of making him uncomfortable. And you're talking about doing it so early in the game because all week long, there's been anxiety on the defensive side of the ball. How do we keep this guy hemmed in? How do we tackle him to get it done that early? That's got to feel great for them. The sack cost him only a yard. It's second and 11. Play action. It's Jackson. Throw right side is complete to Andrews. His tight end. Only able to gain a couple there. And that's going to set up a tough third and nine. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter. Can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Now a man who played high school ball here in LaGrange, Texas, J.K. Dobbins. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground. Honed in on it, 
and stopped him. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Right, throw the throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that pass completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. And that is incomplete. to get him a little bit closer for a shorter field goal, but he was able to get it done from deep. Nice little tester for him to begin things, huh? I think he was open for a little bit more of a chip shot. Instead, they made him stretch it out a little bit, but he's got to feel great now that he put it through the pipes. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. First look at the Cowboys' offense as Dak Prescott gets ready to guide them. The toughness of Dak Prescott, we see it all the time on the field. And remember when he had that serious ankle injury, would he return to form? Boy, did he ever. And he was better than ever, and that's great for the NFL. Terrific resilience, playing at a high level, capable of winning a championship with his arm and his legs. That's not the way. <laughs> so Prescott and the Cowboys now lead first and ten at their own 26. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And he is going to lose yardage here. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. They go to Elliott again. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Yeah. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. <laughs> off the play fake, Prescott. <laughs> Open man ram, it's complete. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Well, that's one way to convert on third down, picking up 26 yards. Now that's all about making something happen as a quarterback, because instead of forcing something on third down, how about him buying some time outside of the pocket, waiting for someone to come open, and when he did, he put it on him for a big play and a first down. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. Eight yards, the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Inside game to Elliott, and they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. The clock running here, under a minute to go now in the first quarter of a 3-0 game. A first down carry by Elliott. And some room to work. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the end yard line. Rushing for him on their opening drive in the contest, and it's now first and goal. You were telling me this yesterday. That's exactly what they want to do on the opening drive. Oh, Establish the ground game. Yeah, that shit. Our conversation we were talking about with one of the GMs in the league. Just, told me just like that right there. It's a big the man's game, and it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. On second down, Elliott. And he will possibly get back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. On the other hand, it will definitely take us to the end of the first quarter play. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession as they'll see what they can do on third and goal. Here's Elliott. And he'll get it. point by Moore, and going, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. So that 
seems non plays all the time. And it culminates in a touchdown run by Ezekiel Elliott. <laughs> Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. Hill going to sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. Baltimore set to take over here for their second possession of the game. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it. And he goes out and gets a job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. They'll start by running the action to the right. And he'll just get back to the line of scrimmage, if that. And with a flag on the field. And that one looks to be in the area where someone was held. Yeah, so they get that one, Charles, on the right tackle. The oftentimes in that spot, you're trying to work against a defender, trying to set the edge in the running game. And you're trying to drive around and get your body twisted so that he can't get there. Sometimes your hands get too involved. Jackson with a hand off to Dobbins on the option. And he's put yeah. down at the 24 after a game of four. If you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, mm -hmm. athleticism, they created some nice space for him. On second and 11 now, Jackson. That would complete to Prochet. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A big one there for the Ravens. It goes for 18. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. Swings it to Anders, and it's complete. The tight end has it. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and it's second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get a head of steam up, Boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. On second down, a run with Dobbins. And he's got some space here. And he's going to get this all the way down to the Cowboys' 20. That one good for 37 yards. Well, that is a running back who is not about to go down easily. He fought his way through the contact until the seas opened up for him. So a big play as it gets him all the way down to the 20 now for first and 10. They'll go option to the short side. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time, when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. Throwing on second and eight, Jackson. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. That's a really nice job there by the coverage, understanding that they're in a high-stick situation. If he doesn't make a play on that ball, there's an excellent chance it ends up either as a touchdown or as a nice game downfield. On third down, Jackson. And incomplete. They tried to drop it off, but he couldn't hold on. He did a fine job there not hitting it before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. So the margin shrinks there as they get the field goal to draw them a bit closer here in the second quarter. Yeah, nice snap, nice hole. They just want to keep this game close, so give them credit for finishing that one off with three. Tucker now following the made field goal, set to kick it away. This one fielded at the five. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. 
Ezekiel Elliott gets ready to go again here on offense as he shuffles onto the field. He's been effective so far over the 40-yard mark here in the second quarter. Don't forget about those guys up front, though. They've been effective, too. The leverage game has been in their favor. They've been the ones who have been able to bend their knees, drop their hips, and get a little bit lower than the guys on the other side of the football. They've moved them out of the way for the runner. Sometimes that's tough for those big fellas. Not an easy thing for them to do. Tyus Bowser blowing that play up. Well, they sent him on the blitz from that linebacker spot, and boy, he got there quickly. He certainly did, and obviously he could have used a block from his running back, but I think you nailed it right there. The defender got into the backfield so fast, it's hard for anyone to react. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. And that was your is that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back, but now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. Open man is Noah Brown. On the move past the 40. He is out of bounds inside the 35. A big play there on the catch and run. 35 yards. A third down is very simple. Make sure you get beyond the sticks, make the catch, pick up the first down. But in this case, he turned it into bonus time and was off to the races for a monster play. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. A reminder, coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report. But business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coaches. Two-minute drill. Marlon Humphrey with a tackle defensively. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Now Prescott. He'll find land. That's complete. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. Man in the old man. Seems as if the passing attack's starting to heat up a little bit here in the second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield. They're understanding the coverages, and they're finding the open holes in the defense. Big Calais Campbell fighting through to make the play in the backfield. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, the connection they've had has been excellent today, but not on that snap. I think he was asking just a little too much as he extended that play, hoping for one more completion with him. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. It's complete to Brown, right side. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. They're able to convert. That sets up a first and goal. Now a timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. To throw is Prescott. Touchdown! Dak Prescott with a connection to CD Lamb. And the Cowboys will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. CD for them, this has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, it helped score us in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. Extra point by Marlow. And good. And it's up to him. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. From his end zone, here comes Justice Hill. And he's going to be out of bounds here as the run back will leave him shy of the 20-yard line. The Ravens going to get one more drive here in this first half. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball, just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. 
That's into the hands of Prochet. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. Now it's Jackson. Open man is Duvernay. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. This will approach NFL record territory. It's a 62-yard attempt. And this one is no good. He missed it. And that will keep the lead at eight. Well, it might be the best kicker the game's ever seen. And we've seen him hit from 66, which is the all-time record. But anything 60-plus, that's a very low percentage kick. Don't tell him. He doesn't believe it. But this one winds up no good. Final play of the half, Prescott. That is caught by Lamb. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. So we have come to halftime here in Dallas with the Cowboys out in front. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everyone, to our brand-new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. First, let's get a check on the next-gen stats from that first half for the Ravens. And they weren't able to get a whole lot done throwing the football. That'll likely be a big key if they want to turn things around in the second half. Meanwhile, for the Cowboys, we check out their numbers on the ground as they'll try to keep the momentum going into the second half. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. The Cowboys will get the football first here. They have the lead as well as we are underway in quarter three. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. The Cowboy offense set to go to begin this third quarter. And, Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it, but I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities, and I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. They find some open field here, and he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 67 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. They keep on the ground with Elliott. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Here's Prescott. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. A tall task ahead of him here, needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Got an open man, it's Michael Gallup. And he's gonna be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 33. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board. Those are the plays they need to continue to convert. 
First down run with Elliott going to go for about four. Second and six coming up. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. And this is not going to be enough. Was in search of two yards and only got halfway there. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. this down to the 18 good enough for a first down they're able to keep the drive alive seven yards that time and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one the fourth down run successful now they look to pay it off on first down from the red zone now Prescott and this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me, it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Third and short yardage, Prescott. And he'll go right back to Lamb. And the Cowboys are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. We talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. And again, it's Prescott. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. All right, Captain. He's batting down the hatch his time defensively. Dodged two pass attempts to the end zone. Now what do you think? They're trying to dial up on third and goal. Well, knowing them and knowing what we've just seen, I think they're throwing it again, don't you? I think you have to. I think in this situation, you've got to run out of your running plays. Fire another one into the end zone. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Only a yard on the pick up there, and it's going to bring up a fourth and goal. It's kind of an interesting decision. One score game, third quarter. What do you do? Yeah, I'm willing to go out on the limb on this one and go for it. Here's why. If I set it up right now and go get the touchdown, I'm in firm control of this ball game. My team has a ton of confidence. If I don't get it, hey, I rely on my defense. And if somehow they go downfield on me and score, so be it. I want to be in control and in firm control right now. They'll start on the ground with Dobbins. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. And that run there does nothing but juice up the guys who are moving the football. I mean, if you're an offensive lineman, people running it, actually the guy calling plays. And he's going to go down. Back in his own five-yard line. It's a sack. Anthony Barr comes rumbling in for the sack. Well, Lamar Jackson, for all the talents of escaping pressure that he possesses, he was helpless to do much of anything there. He had no chance. Yeah, that's one where you turn to your lineman and say, uh, guys, can I get a little help here? And you have to ask politely because, remember, they're blocking for you the entire game. But as a quarterback, you've also got to have the clock running in your head when you need to get rid of the football. But this time, he had no... Oh, and this is going to wind up with safety. That's exactly what they were aiming for defensively. A huge early play that cuts off any opposing momentum at the knees. As soon as that snap was made, they were flying to the ball and through the line. Great call from the coaching staff and even better execution. Now the free kick comes after the safety from the 20 as they bring the punter on to try and get some hang time here. Any return that gets you to midfield is a great return. One first down, and you're almost in field goal position. 
About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Another carry tonight for the workhorse Elliott. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Three quarters in the books. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Cowboys with the football. They'll be looking to tack onto their lead as we get set for the fourth. Elliott going to get it again on second down. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. 92 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Down to about the 45. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Again, it's Elliott. And he's going to be met at about the 43. That gives him 98 yards in this game, and he's got to feel pretty good about that, but the entire offense does. The big thing, though, Brandon, they've got to get to 100, though. You think he knows he's at 98? I think someone has told him by now, and here's the thing. Getting to 100 or more is tangible evidence that you've had a nice day running the football, and that's what his offensive line wants for him and for themselves. With that catch, he goes over 100 yards receiving on the night. A clear running situation, trying to take time off the clock. He ran the previous play. Set that play action up nicely. Boy, did they ever, because they had shown the ability to run the football. So now you lose your keys as a defense. You dive for the running play, and they hit him over the top. Elliott going to bite off about seven on that one. A good run on first down. Vision and speed, two of the attributes that you might say are important for a free safety, and we saw both in evidence there. On second down, it's Pollard. I don't think there's any question, Brandon, at this stage. The stop troops, the defensive guys, they've got to use their three timeouts here. They've got to stop them and get the ball back. Yeah, if you're in that two to three score deficit window that they're in now, you got to get it ASAP. Yeah, no doubt about it. Stop them, use your timeouts. Easier to move the ball on offense without timeouts than to stop them on defense without using them. A gain of 10 as they look to add on to this 10 point lead. Starting to look like this drive will be the final there in the this is why you work out so hard, right? This is why you spend all that time in the offseason. This is why you have those OTAs and mini camps for these situations, these scenarios, to run someone into the ground and secure a victory. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. From the two now, second and goal. Again, it's Elliott. And he will take it in for a Cowboys score. Ezekiel Elliott with his second touchdown of the night. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from making this a three-score game. And they would not be denied on the ground, powering it in just one play after they got stopped short. And how about how many tight ends are on the field? Because in today's NFL, we think of the tight end more as a pass catcher. But this group, they tell them you've got to be able to run block to stay on this team. And they committed to it and got it done right there. Lamar now to add the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. A 10 play drive that time. And it culminates in a touchdown run by Ezekiel Elliott. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. And last time they surrendered the safety, we know they don't want to do that again. That is just one of those oddities in scoring that we get. And it's just so strange to see that go up on the board. And then you've got to make sure that that doesn't happen to your team again. They've got to take care of the ball. But boy, it juices up the defense. Oh, without a doubt. That's a great way to score some points. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. Real quick. 
Here's Jackson to throw. And this one incomplete threw it down at the feet of his receiver. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break. And you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Jackson. That's caught. It's Demarcus Robinson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. Again, Jackson throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Now Jackson. That's taken in by Duvernay. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 42. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent. And that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. Now they got to get to the line quickly. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. As this one moves towards its conclusion, another incomplete pass there. Thoughts on the secondary? <laughs> Seem to be pretty effective in this one. Yeah, I thought that they'd been absolutely outstanding. I mean, their job is to prevent touchdowns, and not a single touchdown is going on the board against them. Of course, they want to make it a total shutout, but hey, if you don't give up touchdowns, you've got a heck of a chance to win. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted, thrown back across his body. Picked up by Leighton Van Der Esch. And the Cowboys are going to take over once again at their own 37-yard line. For this defense, CD, that's kind of the icing on the cake here as we get to the end of this one. And didn't you feel that they weren't just going into total prevent there? You know, they had the lead, and sometimes you fall back and you lose your aggressiveness. Not in this case. They were still making a play on the football, and look how that one turned out. They may have salted this one away. They'll try and run some clock now with Elliott. And it's out. He put it on the carpet. And it's picked up by the Ravens. And his guys will set up shot at midfield at the 50-yard line. Well, maybe it hasn't exactly been a Rembrandt, but they've been mistake-free. And finally cough it up. I don't think it's going to cost them the game. They should be fine. But, boy, they're going to hate that going back and watching tape and being able to say we were that close to achieving our goal of zero turnovers yeah. during the game. A little blemish, but as you say, still comfortably in command. Jackson's throw is on target to Duvernay. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And this one is incomplete. They'll probably spend a little extra time dissecting the game film after this one. I think part of their plan was to hit him over the top of the deep ball. They've been unsuccessful all night. On second and ten, Jackson. Polluting the pressure right. That would complete to Prochet. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Now a first and 10 at the 11. To throw again is Jackson. Got a man, it's caught for a Ravens touchdown. James Prochet, an 11-yard touchdown. And the Ravens are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and the lead is trimmed down to 10. So time definitely not in their favor. Down two scores, but they'll try the onside kick. And they've got it. They recovered it. But hang on now, though. There's a penalty flag down. 
Well, CD, you understand. I mean, they're so eager trying to get back in this game here in the fourth quarter, but they touched that one a little too early before it went 10 yards. Brandon, in such a high-stakes scenario, everyone's feeling the pressure on this play. The special teams coordinator, which one is he going to pick in terms of kicks? Can the kicker execute it? Can the team wait for 10 yards? So many variables, and in this case, they didn't get it done. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go in the football game. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Prescott to throw. And they're going to be set up now with a ball at the 13-yard line. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Throwing here, Prescott. Flushed out right. That ball is caught. It's Gallup. Touchdown, Cowboys. From 13 yards out. And his guys now an extra point away from taking a three-score lead. So a little icing on the cake there before the clock gets all zeros. What a way to finish things off. Exactly what you want. Not much time and a touchdown to put things away. Mar on for the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. Touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. And Hill will throw the touchback. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Well, this is just an exercise in futility. Do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't, because... Now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the film, find out where the game was really lost. But this is not a situation now where you're going to make up for anything. We'll see what they do here. So it's a win here for the Cowboys. And it was Dak Prescott, their quarterback, who really led the charge. Yeah, he really had his A game tonight. He threw a couple of touchdown passes, and he was instrumental in earning this victory.